Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to do floor plans with Cubicasa. This video is actually sponsored by Cubicasa, so thank you Cubicasa for sponsoring me. But I'm not agreeing to this because they're paying me money, I'm agreeing to this because I think Cubicasa is a fantastic company and product. Uh, Cubicasa is one of those things, and I like to measure things by result per unit of effort. And this is one of those add-ons that I have done for years at my business, and it's responsible for at least $70,000 of revenue, and that's being conservative just by looking at the number of uh, floor plans I've done. So today I'm gonna show you how to do a floor plan, and I'm gonna show you exactly uh, some of the new features that they've come out with, including interactive floor plans where you can take your photos and upload them to the floor plan and people can see real photos based off of where they are in the house in the floor plan. So let's go ahead and go inside and I'll go over everything today in this tutorial of Cubicasa floor plans. All right, so this is the house that we're going to be scanning today. We've already done uh, photography and several other services for this. But one of the things I love about doing floor plans is that it takes almost no time. It takes no additional equipment. And uh, it also can take no money because there's free options for this as well. But even if you do a paid option, it's still super cheap. So one thing that's different about doing floor plans versus photography is the prep work. So I'm going to show you how I like to prepare a house for floor plans just to make sure that everything is as perfectly accurate as possible because I don't think the software makes many errors. Lots of times you'll see complaints about the floor plans in Facebook groups or something else, and it has nothing to do with the software. It has everything to do with the user. It is user error. So let me show you how to reduce as much user error as possible. When you're doing your floor plans, the first thing you wanna do is prep it properly. And when you're doing photography, you will follow certain rules when you're doing real estate photography. Like you'll never photograph closets usually and you usually won't uh, photograph garages. When we're doing floor plans, we wanna actually go by different rules. So we're actually going to open up all the closets, and sometimes you're gonna have an occupied house where this is full of junk. It doesn't matter. They're not gonna see the actual recording uh, on the cell phone. They're only gonna see the end result of the floor plans. The reason why I like to open up uh, the closets is because we can get um, more information for the scan just by quickly going inside and scanning that. Cubicasa does a great job of uh, estimating what a closet looks like even if you don't scan it. But if you really want it to be super accurate, I find that the results are best when you actually open up the doors. And you wanna make sure that you open up every door because lots of times, once again, user error, people will miss rooms. That's not Cubicasa or the software's fault. That's the photographer's fault, right? So make sure you're going into every space and opening up the doors to make sure you're not missing anything. In fact, that's great practice for any time you're doing any service at a home because sometimes, and this is something that I don't like to have as a business owner, us having to go back out to a house because the photographer missed a half bath that they thought was a closet or something else. So anyway, that is great prep. Here's another great tip I can give you before you start your floor plan scan. Lots of times people are a little bit hesitant about doing floor plans with their cell phone and agents can be a little bit hesitant about using your cell phone for floor plans. The best recommendation I can give here is to request that any homeowners or real estate agents are outside of the home, preferably not on site when you do your photography anyway, because that's gonna speed up all your processes. But when you're doing the scan, go ahead and request for them to exit the house. And the way I word this is, hey, we're about to do a LiDAR scan of the home for the floor plans. I never mentioned a cell phone. We're gonna do, do a LiDAR scan and any moving objects could potentially mess up the scan. So we need to have no moving objects at all. So if you guys could just exit the home for uh, 15 or 20 minutes, I'll go ahead and do a LiDAR scan of the entire property and then let you know when I'm done. So that is an excellent way to have people never know you're even using a cell phone. That being said, I'm not gonna hide the fact this is a cell phone. I'm not gonna lie to them, okay? So if they do ask, hey, how do you do your floor plans? I'm gonna tell them, yeah, I use Cubicasa and we use a LiDAR scan, usually using our cell phone, um, but the results are incredibly accurate. You're gonna be 100% happy. I'll do the scan. If you don't like it, 
feel free, I can give you your money back. Anyway, just having a little bit of that uh, business acumen is really gonna help you out and you shouldn't be afraid about adding this on even if you're just using your cell phone. These devices that we have in our pockets all day long use is more advanced than took you know, astronauts to the space station. So it's nothing to be insecure or uh, reluctant about using. Let's go ahead and get ready to shoot with the Cubicasa app. So if you want to uh, just open up the Cubicasa app, this is what it looks like. And one of the things I love about the Cubicasa app is that it, it will show you how to do everything even without watching this tutorial that you're watching now. So if you look, we have the best scanning practices, how to create your own style, how to edit your floor plans. All the resources that you need are actually in the free app that you can download. So if you want to really be specific, go ahead and download the app and check out the tutorials there. But we're gonna go ahead and, and press the scan button and I'm gonna press the single house and continue. And this is going to automatically use our location to sense where we are. And I know that we're at 3076, so I can go ahead and select that and confirm. And this is also beautiful. Without even having to look at the resources that are available inside the app, before you scan or complete any scan, it will give you reminders of how to prepare the property, um, how to start scanning, and these are the basics you need to know. And then of course, warnings, what not to do, all right? Anyway, that is fantastic if you're learning that to begin with, but there are some additional tips I would recommend you to in regards to the do's and don'ts, and it's just tips on how to record. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and scan the whole property here live in real time. So I'm gonna go ahead and press let's scan and press record, and I'm gonna go ahead and start at the front of the property. And the key here is to always be moving forward, hold it about chest height, and point it at the seam between the walls and the floors. And I'm gonna go into the master bedroom here and we're gonna just record every single wall in the house. So master bedroom is already done. And the bathroom here, notice how I'm always holding it chest height and moving forward. Okay, it has been less than a minute and we've already got about half the house done. I'm now going to move on here through the main living area and kitchen. I'm just moving at a nice walking speed, always grabbing the seam between the wall and the floor. If you need to stop and scan a window, you can do that. Once again, just grabbing those hard to reach places. All right, now the main living area and the kitchen is done. I'm avoiding having to do multiple scans of the same area if possible. Moving now into the garage and just a quick reminder, you usually wouldn't photograph this, but it's very important to include in the Cubicasa scan. And we're getting a little bit of the videographer in the shot. That's not the end of the world. Making sure I include that closet. Secondary bedrooms here. Making sure I get those windows included. You don't have to shoot the entire window, just the bottom of it. They explain more about that in the tutorials inside the app. Always forward motions if possible, but backing out of smaller spaces. Getting the seam on everything. And with that, I have scanned the whole home in two minutes and 52 seconds. Now that we're done with the scan, uh, one of the biggest questions that comes up for photographers uh, that they face when they're 
when they're delivering their scan is questions about, hey, is this accurate? I don't agree with the square footage and everything else. So here's a little bit about that, how I deal it deal with it in my business, Tried Real Estate Media here in North Carolina that has very strict laws, okay? First of all, the real estate agent is responsible for whatever accuracy of the information, whatever it is included, whether it be the photos, the floor plan, the lot lines, whatever it is, they are responsible for that accuracy, okay? When we are doing a scan of the home using Cubicasa, we are doing an internal uh, living space, right? Not a gross living area, however, you can actually request the GLA information, which is an additional, more accurate estimation of the measurements from the outside of the home, okay? So you can just uh, purchase that as an add-on inside Cubicasa, and that'll make it a little bit more accurate. But honestly, I have almost never ordered a GLA report because even here in North Carolina, the real estate agents are pretty happy with what I've included. Also, when I uh, advertise this on my booking page, I make sure to put a disclaimer that these floor plans are not necessarily a replacement for an appraisal, right? So this is specifically just for floor plans and getting a feel for what the home layout is like. Anyway, you guys can word it however you like on your business and how it applies to your state. But here in North Carolina, even one of the most strictest states regarding a square footage, it works out just fine. Anyway, now that we've done the scan, I'm gonna go ahead and send it for processing. And then I'll show you how the new feature, the interactive floor plan, so that you can upload your photos and it'll automatically organize all the photos into the location of the home. So we can go back to the studio, get on my computer, and I'll show you how it's done. Hello everyone, welcome back to the studio. We just did the floor plan and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to upload your photos and how easy it is to do this interactive floor plan. So here on the screen, one thing that I wanna show you is my order list. Just so you know that I'm not lying because I know a lot of people out there uh, like to stretch the truth. Uh, this is the first order I ever did on Cubicasa in 2021. I have over 70 pages of orders on this account anyway. So just looking at this account, if you do 10 orders per page, which is how many there are, and uh, you do 70 pages of those, that's around 700 orders. If you average $100 an order, which is very conservative, then uh, we would be at uh, $70,000 of revenue over the last four years. So that's really good. Now let's talk about uploading our photos. I'm just gonna use the most recent uh, one as a, an example, and they're calling the interactive floor plan the Cubicasa Tour. So you just, uh, once your floor plan is finished, you can go ahead and Cubicasa tour and then upload your photos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload the interiors of this listing. I'm uploading uh, this listing here because the other one isn't finished processing yet. So that would be 5 to 21. And then I'm gonna upload it. It's gonna take just a few seconds here. I'm gonna select a cover photo, continue, and generate tour. And then we will see exactly how long this takes. Oh, the tour process processing has started. You'll receive an email once processing is ready. So that will take a few minutes and I will come back to see what this looks like. We are back. The uh, processing only took about three minutes, very impressive. And this is what it looks like inside the uh, software here. So we have some photos could not be matched but it looks like they did 11 of the images. So just the instructions here, we couldn't automatically match all the photos. We can manually add and edit photo locations and quick edit. So we're just gonna uh, do the quick edit here real quick and see what it looks like. Looks to me like this is pretty good. Uh, in fact, before I even go to the quick editor tool, let me just review what we're seeing here. So we have the foyer, that is correct. The uh, main living area, looking back towards that wall, that is correct. And then looking back towards the foyer, they got all of this really correct. This is nice. And then uh, we're looking at the eat-in kitchen, that's correct. Um, all of these that I'm reviewing here are spot on. I don't see a single missing thing. Now they are saying that 
not all of them were aligned, but frankly, I don't need to have all of the images in the interactive floor plan. So rather than wasting time with me to do a quick edit and add the additional photos, I'm just gonna deliver this as is. And guys, as a real estate photographer, um, clients don't necessarily want perfect, they want quick. So if a client isn't upset that all the photos weren't included in the floor plan, then I'm not gonna worry too much about it either. So I think this gives a very accurate, um, good representation of what the house looks like of every bedroom. And I don't see a reason to edit this at all personally. So I will just leave it like that and then deliver this as is. So that is essentially what we have here with the floor plans. So that's a quick look at their brand new feature. I think it's really good. Uh, I love how automated it is that I just have to upload the photos, select them, and then it automatically and correctly gets them uh, aligned without me having to do too much. And we did see that uh, not all the photos were added, but I would much rather have um, some photos not added and give a quick overview of the property than rather to try to add photos that aren't aligned. So personally, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's really good. And I think that's a great option if you want to check it out. And I will start uh, offering this to my clients as well. Um, if you have never tried Cubacasa, make sure you sign up today. I'm going to have a link in the description. Uh, you just look at cuba.casa slash Jonathan Corbett. And if you're an existing Cubacasa user, you can learn more about the Preferred Photographer program via the link in the description. I'm going to go ahead and put that down there. And if you guys want to really understand and get a great feel for who Cubacasa is, I encourage you to watch the podcast that I recorded with not one, but four members of Cubacasa. So you can check that out at uh, our uh, YouTube, of course. So just look at the uh, Cubacasa podcast uh, for Real Estate Photography Unlocked. I hope this was very good for you guys. I hope you learned a lot. And let me know what you guys think about Cubacasa. I'll answer questions down below. And thank you, as always, for watching.